Hi guys, so I've obviously explained how important grip strength is. It's there every day to start with, uh, just in five minutes. I know I've done bits and pieces, but I just want to do a three or four minute video uh, on all the possible ones you can do. Spend more time on them than I'm doing here. It's just a demonstration. The ball's front on first, rolling your fingers, forward and back, change the position of the ball, side on as well. Trying to get your fingers nice and wide. Surface area on the football, and obviously quick demo on the left, same thing. But you need to spend, you can't spend too much time on that one, getting that feel for the footy. Uh, from there, you can go into your wide hands and just gripping, dropping the ball. Progression from that, just going into your hand to hand transfer. Another progression again, just up and down off the ground and trying to catch the ball on its way up. If you really want to test yourself, a uh, really hard one, it's obviously transferring it through off the ground and catching with the other one. It's been a while since I've done that one, but give it a go. Uh, you might go better than me. Front to back. Obviously testing yourself, going quicker and quicker. Other one is just your split leg. See it side on. Or if you want to see that front to back again, side on. You're just doing those ones, and then you can go your figure eight. You're splitting, side on for that one transferring and you can see all that grip strength coming into play. Other one around your back, keeping it off your body. It's a really simple one that, but really good one. When you're going for your sunny bill passes, whether it be around the corner or flicking out the back, when you just do some transfer stuff. Each time you transfer it over, but see I'm changing the point of the ball, might be the end of the ball, might be the belly of the ball, trying to do it. Same on your windmills, hold on the end, front, hold in the middle, front and back and can transfer like I said just having in really good ones to do the other one I think I've showed you is getting the ball and wrestling your own hands so trying to split those fingers nice and wide transfer it through another really basic one that I kind of have a bit of fun with it's just that flicking side to side trying to keep it off the ground and you just move through your progression quick as you can, running up, then go to eye line, and above eye line, you don't know where the foot is going to be always in the game, and then the same behind your back, transferring it through. From there, one I've done, another one, simple one, just out in front, like I said, both positions, end of the ball, middle of the ball, both hands, just having some fun with it. Then you put on, if you want to do your footwork stuff, just flicking up, one I like to do, just transfer it there, put a kick, catch ball on your back. Just have a bit of fun. Like I said, I'm just ab living it here and showing you guys all the different ones you can do while you're out in the field. Next one for your passing. We've done our passing primers, but you can do ones where you're doing it with the one hand, that dominant hand if it was going right to left. A really good one. Just throwing it, learning to flick it out of that wrist. Progress from that, letting the ball go, throw it to yourself up in the air. So it's like a right to left simulation. I'm throwing it up. Trying to go higher each time and using that. So like I said, before we go into our target and our primers in the actual session, we're doing all this grip strength stuff, it's gonna help for us. And like I said, just changing again, wrestling my own hand, but ends of the ball this time. Service here, fingers apart, really wide, and trying to get some torque in our hands. So like I said, just try a few of those. Next one, tennis balls, hand eye coordination is all part of our warm up and grip. Whether you want to just do even before any of that, each individual finger, trying to squeeze the balls together, getting your fingers separate and trying to work each individual finger. Do a couple of squeezes with your thumb, index finger, middle finger, and then work out to your pinky. Hand-eye coordination also, a really important fundamental of any sport. Uh, so if you've got socks, if you haven't got tennis balls, it doesn't matter what facilities you have, just get going, try and juggle for a bit, keep it up. Like I said, concentration, these are all good things. And if you want, if you're not a great juggler, you can start with just two balls even and just transferring. All you gotta do is throw one up, one under. It's just that concentration level and trying to get there. And you can even grab that one. If you're not up to it with the footy yet, just working it with a tennis ball. And again, coordination type stuff. Come and miss there by trying to concentrate and do both hands. Good one for agility as well with that tennis ball. I got it, yeah, back in. Bouncing up, come back in. Test yourself back out. You might have a cone you want to get to. 
and you're gonna throw it, skip, throw it, skip, and get harder progressively. Well, like I said, if you wanna go harder again, we can try and juggle the footies. Been a long time since we've done this, so bear with me, it might not come off. So we're just throwing it up. And it hasn't quite come off, but uh, like I said, by the end of this term, we should be all juggling footies, or at least the tennis balls. Have a crack at all those, no matter what your facilities, like I said, for juggling, get us uh, pair, three pairs of socks, roll them together. Uh, we shouldn't have an excuse to sort of improve our group strength. Have a crack at them all.